Hey, hey. Spring of Fay, Simple Tarot. Okay, Libra, this is a reading for you. There's the feeling that I just started getting is kind of like uh, a feeling about hmm, figuring things out. Um, it's almost like, well, <laughs> balancing things out, yeah. Um, that makes sense. Um, getting things straightened out. Um, For some reason, I'm getting what will be allowed and what will not. I'm not sure why, but... Um, okay, let's just get into it. For Libra, what is the message for Libra? Okay, someone um, is going through something around money. Um, there's a feeling of feeling like uh, you're standing all alone. There's no help. Um, it's it's almost like you feel like everyone's just kind of just and just left you to your own means to figure things out. Um, I don't know if this is for some of you. This could be at a work place, and um, it's like you know trying to do what you need to do to keep things straight. Now, for some of you, this is about at home. This is about. Um, you feel like you're alone. You feel like you're doing it all on your own. You feel like you're the only one thinking about family and thinking about home and thinking about the money and uh, how to fix things and how to um, balance things out. So this, this is what this feels like. I feel like for some, some of you, um, this is about wanting to find what's perfect for you. And that could be job related. You may even have a job, but yeah, it's like your mind drifts to what's the perfect fit for you. Um, and I feel like for some of you, um, you're going to be moving towards a, an opportunity to make a lot of money. A lot of money. Uh, but you may have to, to uh, walk away from something, leave something behind, and that could be very well be a job that you're already at. It could be. Um, okay. okay. If this is um, about, okay, wait a minute. Okay, this is about, um, I was going to say home, family, love, you know, got a lot of emotion for someone. What, what, okay, yeah, see, there's something here about looking at things differently. Look at how, um, how you look at relationship and union. You need to, to look at it differently. Or something is almost like you're being closed minded. Tell me. Tell me. We've had a tower moment about something. What's this tower moment about? Judgment. Okay, there's a lot of illusion going on here. Someone needs to see the truth. Um, someone feels like they're backed up against the wall and they're all alone. This is a this is um, either about a, 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 someone wanting to move forward with someone and be in a relationship and things falling apart, or this is about a couple um, that it's like someone feels like, you know, they have to work, work, work to make everyone happy. It's like feeling like they having to do a lot and they feel like they're all alone. They feel like they're backed up against the wall. Um, there's a lot of illusions that need to be looked at. Need to see the truth. See things for what it, you know, what it truly is. Um, I feel like you need to look at the long, the far out picture too. Some It feels like someone, we've had something happen. There's been um, an issue about something and with judgment being here, there's a need to look at it from a distance and look at things like uh, from um, a far out standpoint. 
like say if this is um, a family and two people are looking at their jobs they need to look at not just the job now but how it benefits later on or um, what it offers in the way of other means other than say just pay maybe it has good insurance or something of that nature there's a lot that needs to be looked at and it all needs to be taken into effect um, and it's like someone's, they're not seeing that. Uh, now, I also feel like if someone, um, I feel like we've had a tower moment because someone is not, um, with judgment being here, they're being careless, I feel like. They're not taking things seriously and, um, you know, they may be having too much fun. It, you know, they may feel like... They're, I mean, that feels like they just, they're having too much fun there. Um, when really, I'm going to be honest with you, the fun, it feels like it's an escape. It's an escape from problems. There's problems there that I feel like that someone, one of these people's not seeing the other one's issues. The issues um, are underlying. They're, they're truths that are underneath the surface, it feels like. Um, and someone may be, you know, having, um, a, a, see, I'm seeing this as um, the Three of Cups. You know, you could say having fun, but it feels like they may be uh, drinking or they may be um, smoking or doing something that is like a, it's almost like a getaway for them. It's like a way to be away from everyone else you know what I'm saying it's like a sense of freedom a sense of dealing with so there's underlying things here okay can I know more about the person that's got the yeah they need healing see there's issues that they need to heal and you know healing can this could be from childhood this could be that they got a lot on them that maybe the other person's just not seeing because they're dealing with it too. But everyone deals with things differently. Do you see what I'm saying? And two, you know, um, someone might be, one of these people might be closer to a situation than the other. So therefore they deal with it differently. Um, but there's a lot of healing needs to be, needs to be dealt with. Um, yeah. Okay, if this is romantic, you know, someone feels defeated. They feel um, that everything is difficult, that things are, there's difficulty around going forward. Tell me more. Um, we got one person I feel like that feels more independent independence is very important you know they want to be able to do what they want to do but then we've got someone else that feels like tradition so the two need to get on the same page i feel like about things excuse me oh mercy so you got two people it's kind of like they're they're opposite of each other but they're not opposite of each other i mean if that makes sense I've got to lose this coat, or not coat, jacket. It's starting to get hot up here. Okay. It's all in how they look at things. Change your perspective. Both got to change your perspective. And, um, you know, if you've got any Aquarius in your, I think it was Aquarius. It could have been Sagittarius. I've done Aquarius and Sagittarius. Well, if you've got any of those signs in your birth chart, you may want to go back and look at that because I, I remember this card being in one of those readings. Or something about changing the way you look at things. It's, yeah, it's a big deal. Um... Tell us more. Change the way you look at things for a victory. That's that's a big deal for a victory, you know. And 
I feel like it can change um, the outcome. You know, all in how someone's looking at something can change the outcome of things for them. And that's, that's a good, you know, it's a good thing. Um, let's take a romance angel for you if this is romantic. It doesn't have to be, though. That two of cups doesn't have to be romance. Could be family related. Could be just friend related. Uh, too many. Okay. I'm going to take them. I feel like I'm supposed to. Um, and we got quite a few here. But it feels like I'm supposed to. And again, I need to go ahead and tell you to go back, uh, even if you don't have those signs in your birth chart, if you're not dealing with, go back and watch those other two readings. Um, for, one was for Sagittarius and one was for Aquarius. Yeah, because they may tie in. Some parts of them may tie in with your reading. Just take away what's meant for you. Um, we've got separation here. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. I feel like for some of you it's already happening or been happening. Um, it's already there or been there. Then we have it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Now here's the kicker. Changing that perspective. Religious factors. Your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual paths. So you may see things differently than one another, and that's something to look at. It's something to look at. You know, can you have your life as far as that? You know, can you blend that? Can you? Um, oh, I feel like that's that's got something to do with things and. Somebody may be a way different than the other, and it affects things. But, you know, you got to be yourself. If you go to walk on eggshells, is it really good? You know what I'm saying? Uh, very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Let's take you one of these. So it's really all about the perspective. That's a big thing. Um, whether it's romance or not. Okay, we got Azerite. Deep emotional healing. Your heart is ready to heal from past experiences. And you are willing to devote time and energy toward therapeutic care. So, that's very important, is healing. And that's what I've got for you. Um, you like the reading, thumbs up. Please do subscribe, share out the readings, and I appreciate each and every one of you. Much light and love, not feeling it, and extended on this. Until next time, bye.